Hey, boys and girls, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Um, how are you doing? Um, so this is cohort A. You are home, you are kindergartners, and it is time to do some awesome math. Um, you may remember before the break, we did some Tower of Power, and we're going to continue. So first, we're going to play together, and then... Uh, you are going to play on your own, okay? So, let's see, I'm drifting around here. I'm going to put two dot cards. So when you play, you want to get all your dot cards, all of them, the ones one through ten, and shuffle them up, and then you turn them over, and you put one here where it says dot card number one, and you put one here as well, okay? So I'm going to show them to you for a couple seconds and then decide... Is there more here on number one or more here and number two? Okay. All right. You ready to look? Mark it set. Go. All right. Who thinks there's more dots in number one? Who thinks there's more dots in number two? Raise your hand. Okay. Well, let's find out. This one's a little, this one's a little bit easier, right? So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to pick out six. Um... <clears throat> uh, cubes. So you need your cubes for this when you play, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's my tower of six. And now I'm going to make a tower of two. One, two. I can start from the bottom or the top. Now the important thing is remember to line them up at the bottom. Otherwise, this one could be way up here. And you're like, oh, look, two is greater. No, it's not. That's not fair. It got too much of a head start. So you can see that Six, right, is a lot more than two. And two is a lot less than six. Okay, so we would write our numbers down. This is six. And this is two, right? And I'm going to uh, circle the one that's larger. So I'm going to circle the six. Okay? All right, let's do another one because... It's super fun. Um, also, boys and girls, today I have a fun activity for you to, to do. It's called a math scavenger hunt. I'm very excited. Okay, so let's pick up two more. Okay, so I'm going to show you the dots for a few seconds, and you try and figure out which one has more dots. That means the most. Okay? All right, mark it set. Go. Oh, what do you think? That wasn't much time. All right, raise your hand if you think number one, this one, has the most dots. Raise your hand if you think number two, this one, has the most dots. All right, let's find out who's correct. Okay, so on here we have, I like to turn it this way, three, four, five, six, again. Over here we have one, two, oh, I could turn it this way again. We have three, four, five. Huh. Huh. So very close together, but let's see. This one, this should be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's show five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's line them up at the bottom. Now when you do this at home, boys and girls, you can stand them up. I just don't do it here because it's hard to tell on the camera which one's higher, so I lay it down. But you can stand them up, and you can see, whoa, they're close, but six is one more than five, right? So that has the most dots, okay? And five is one less than six. That makes sense because right after five comes six, right? You just add one more to get six. That makes sense. All right, let's do, let's do one more. Let's do another one. All right, are you ready? Let's erase this. Okay, get ready, watch carefully. And then you're going to vote. Is it number one or number two that has the most? Okay. All right. I'm going to put them down on your mark. Get set. Go. All right. What do you think? Mr. McAndrew might be a little tricky this time. Let's see what we see. Oh, who thinks that there's the most on this one? Number one. Okay. Raise your hand if you think... There's more dots on this one. 
Raise your hand if you don't think there's more dots on either one. Say what, Mr. McAndrew? Well, let's take a look. How many dots do we have here? I can see six here because it looks like if I take that one off, it looks like the dots on dice, right? So even if I turned it this way, that's six, seven, okay? Now over here, I, I can also see six. If I cover that dot, I've got three here and three here. So one more also gives me seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> so what's going on here, boys and girls? What's that word that means the same? Because I think they should be the same, right? Let's see, do we have, we have seven? This one's seven, and this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if you notice, they're exactly the same size. And if I stand them up, they're exactly the same height. So they are, what's that word? Equal, they're equal, okay? So instead of circling one, we would go like this, equal. Okay, seven is the same as Seven, even though the dots are arranged a little bit differently, there's still seven on either side. Okay? All right, so let's do one more. Because, like, when you're having fun, why not just keep having more fun? Okay. Last one for today. Here we go. I've got two dot cards. They are not equal, okay? That's my only hint. All right, on your mark. Get set. Is it going to be number one? Or number two, number one, number two, number one, number two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. What? Ready, set, go. Which one do you think has more? Oh, come on, Mr. McAndrew, give us more time. All right, what do you think? Do you want one more peek? All right, one more peek. All right, let's vote. Who thinks there's more on this side? Number one, who thinks there's more on this side? All right, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you again. Okay, let's figure it out. How many dots do we have here? I think we have 10, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, Mr. McGanju, I, I said it wouldn't be equal and here they are being equal. What am I doing? Look, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. They are equal, right? 10. 10 is the same as, is the same as, or equal to 10. 10 is 10. 10 is 10 is 10. All right. So let me do one more that is actually not equal. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Hey, we all make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. Okay. All right. I've got two new cards. Are you ready? And you mark it set number one or number two. Okay. Mark it set. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Anybody know yet? All right, one more turn. Dun, 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 dun. All right, what do you think? Who says number one has the most, more, greater, larger, bigger, grander? I have no other words for that. How about this one over here? Number two. Anybody for number two? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Over here, I can see five like from the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh, do we have another equal? Let's see over here. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So which one is more? Well, here's ten. And nine, I'd have to take one away. So nine should be less. Yep. So nine is just one less than ten. And ten is one more than nine. So 10 is the winner, okay? Um, okay, so boys and girls, I would like you to play Tower of Power. You should have this with you at home um, for like, you know, 10 minutes, okay? And then on the next slide, I have a scavenger hunt for you to do around the house, something fun, hopefully, that your parents are happy about, hopefully. Okay, I'll see you on the next video, on the next slide. Play Tower of Power for like 10 minutes. Maybe take a picture of it. Show your teacher what a great job you're doing. Don't forget your cubes, okay? And remember, you can stand them up like this and be like, oh, look at that. That one's bigger. Bigger Tower of Power. 
All right, boys and girls, I will see you very soon. Okay, bye-bye.